So what is going on everybody? I just have another quick video tutorial here on how to install the Google USB driver for Android debugging and if use with the Android developer toolkit. If you're going to be developing on a Windows PC, then I will show you in this video how to uh, install the drivers. As you can see on my screen right now, I have the device manager open and down here where it says Nexus 5, it shows me a little error message with a little yellow triangle. Now normally everything in this list should look like that, where there is no errors. However, I connected my phone, which is the Nexus 5 here, with the USB cable even after I went into the phone. And I'll show you real quick. I added the developer options here, which I selected and went in and turned on USB debugging. So even after I plugged in my phone and I have USB debugging mode enabled, I still need these drivers or the Google USB driver here. Now real quick, I'm on a Windows 8 computer. So rather you are in, if you're in this screen or you're in this screen, it really doesn't matter. All you do is you come down here to the lower left corner. If you're in this screen, you can right click and get to it. Or if you're in this screen, you can right click and come up here to where it says device manager and select device manager. Now on Windows 7 and uh, Windows Vista, you can get there by right clicking on the my computer icon on the desktop which looks a little bit like this PC what you do is you'd right click on that and click manage now in Windows 8 it's called this PC and in Windows uh, on Windows XP Vista and Windows 7 it's called my computer so you right click on this icon here and then you can come down and this box comes up this computer management box will pop up and you can come down over here on the lower left and select device manager and get to it that way as well. But a shortcut to this is to come down here to the lower left corner, right click and come right up and choose device manager on Windows 8. So there is the device manager and there's my problem with my phone. So now I also, I'm going to show you real quick in my user account here, I downloaded the ADT bundle for Windows and if you go into this folder into SDK and go to extras after you download this ADT bundle you will find if, if you go once you download it you gotta open up Eclipse and then open up the, the SDK manager and do all the updates in there you will find the uh, Google driver USB driver that you can download which I downloaded right there so what I'm going to do is show you how to install that. Um, I will show you real quick what I mean. If you go into Eclipse and you open Eclipse up, we'll just give it a minute. Once Eclipse opens, opens up here, then you can choose the SDK manager, which is at the top here, little arrow, um, arrow arrow pointing down little Android guy there just select that that is starts the Android SDK manager and then in this list is how I downloaded that extra what I did was when I first downloaded this package it goes through and checks everything and you know you can come down the list here and select you can check mark it and I think by default it's check marked anyway but then what you would do is install packages is, is click install packages and then that creates that folder in this directory here under SDK and extras called Google and that's your USB driver so how you get to that in order to correct this issue and I'm gonna download something else to I'm gonna download the other the Google USB driver to show you how to install it manually to uh, as a standalone so how you get to that driver is right click on this go to update driver and then what you want to do is browse my computer for driver software so we're going to browse click browse over here and we're gonna to browse to that folder that I had called extras so it was under development it was under SDK and there it is it says extras we'll click the little arrow here come down and there it is it's the Google 
says Google, and you might have to arrow down here a little bit to get to it, but what you would do is simply highlight this and then click OK, and that would install your USB driver. And right now I'm not going to do that because I want to share one more way of doing this because I am not sure how everybody has things downloaded and where you guys are at with everything. So if I would have clicked OK right there, that would have made it look like that and corrected the error. So right now I'm going to simply close out of that and show you one more method. So you can go to Android Developers. And you can come down here where it says Android Developers and click that. Once you're in here, up at the top, there's a little magnifying glass. Simply type in Google USB driver and hit enter. And it should be like the first link here that comes up, Google USB driver. Just select that. And that's going to take you right to the page here. And over here on the right, you can download the Google uh, USB driver by clicking on that tab. Um, there is a ton of information in here on how to help you with this. And one more, uh, a couple of things here before I download this, I want to mention is um, basically if, if you're going to develop on Windows um, and you know you want to connect your tablet, your Nexus 7 or your Nexus 5 or your Nexus device, then you definitely need to have the, the Google USB driver or the o, OEM USB driver. So it doesn't work for everything. Um, if you're developing on Mac OS or Linux, then you probably won't need to install any of these drivers. The only one exception that I believe that at this point that I'm aware of is the Galaxy Nexus. I think that driver is provided by Samsung as an OEM driver. So uh, there is a list and I will take you to it. It's called OEM USB drivers. And again, you guys can go right back through and get to this website here. And here's um, OEM drivers. So here's a list of other devices and there are the links to get to those OEM drivers. So this Google USB driver is really geared towards uh, Windows PCs. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and click download. So what you do is you, you know, select this, you read that, download the driver. It's gonna download into my folder so I'm going to tell it to show me where it downloaded at okay that put it right in my downloads folder so I'm gonna close out of that stuff and clear it out of my list okay and again up here at the top is the link the website that you can go to just go to it by how I showed you in the video here okay so I'm gonna close out of that and go back to my main screen Google screen here and I'm gonna go back into my user folder under downloads there is the Google driver that I just downloaded this is like the standalone driver for the Google USB driver so I'm going to extract that with a program called 7-zip and I'm gonna extract it right here in the same spot so this is the zip folder and this is the folder I extracted so you can see those files and you can see that it says USB driver. So now, if I go back into my user account one more time and go under development, go into the ADT bundle under SDK, go to extras, go to Google, you can see that the same exact driver is right there. So now we have two methods. Let me go back into the device manager here. We have two methods now of uh, basically those are the same exact driver I just wanted to show you two different ways to do it in case you did not have the Android developer kit downloaded and you wanted to just download the driver and correct the issue right away so what we'll do is what you do is you right click on this and click update driver and we want to browse we want to browse to I'm going to go back in my user account and browse to my downloads where I can find that USB driver that I extracted and I'm gonna go ahead and highlight that and click OK now what I'm gonna do and again you can do this by going into the other the extras folder too, uh, the previous way here I just showed you so either of these ways will work now I'll click next it's gonna ask me if I want to install this of course I do Android composite ADB interface installed now I'm gonna close that 
and down here under portable devices, you will see now that that is corrected. So if you guys, and it also had added in the Android composite interface um, additional thing here. So into the device manager. So now my device manager looks 100% good to go there. So now you, and over on the Nexus 5, you will get, it says allow USB uh, debugging the computer's RSA. Key fingerprint is whatever series of stuff that is there. What you want to do is just check mark the box, always allow from this computer, and click OK. So now you are ready to use the developer kit, and the appropriate drivers are installed for your Google Nexus 5 or your Android device. So I'm going to go ahead and file exit. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys. Please like, subscribe, comment, and you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks.